Never thought Frankenstein's monster's name would be Adam. The story is Frankenstein's monster, 200 years after his creation, is thrown into an all-out war between gargoyles and demons, or in this movie, men in suit and ties. And the demon prince Nibirius wants Frankenstein to unlock the secret of reanimation because apparently he's been hoarding bodies for centuries and he wants to summon demon souls into the bodies and Frankenstein holds the key to this because he's a living corpse that has no soul. The movie is absurd on so many levels, I don't even know where to begin. The action sequences are entertaining, but this movie is so cheesy, so over the top, and contradicts itself constantly. Aaron Eckhart must have been itching to take a stab at the Christian Bale Batman voice ever since playing Harvey Dent, because he's got the Batman growl in this one, and he's got lines like, descend in pain, that you add that voice, plus his eyeliner, plus his constantly shifty eyes looking for gargoyles and demons, and the character is ridiculous. Now this film was worked on by a lot of the same people that helped create the Underworld movies, namely writer Kevin Graveau, and clearly they're trying to make this another Underworld franchise, but it doesn't work here. I'm proud to say I love the Underworld movies. Those movies are fun. They have a badass female lead. The world itself just works in that movie. The world and I, Frankenstein, makes zero sense whatsoever. The biggest part to me that stood out as not making any sense is that the gargoyles claim that they're fighting the demons to protect the humans and the world, and they try and teach Frankenstein their ways when they learn uh, Prince Nibirius is interested in him. So Frankenstein, being the loner that he is, goes out, is renegade, starts kicking ass, starts destroying a ton of demons, is just taking them out. And what do the gargoyles do to react? They actually capture him, chain him up, and Lenore yells at him for going out into the open and being too aggressive and too renegade and killing these demons. Yet, five minutes later, there's an all-out war in the middle of the cathedral, in the middle of the town, where there's thousands of demons and thousands of gargoyles fighting. Humans are gonna notice that, Lenore. Uh, it's just ridiculous. They have this all-out war, and she's flipping out five minutes earlier that he's not being inconspicuous enough. The only consistent human in this movie is Ivan Strahovski's character, Tara. She's a scientist who is completely oblivious that she's been working for a demon prince until Frank, I mean, Adam, comes along. I get the subject matter here is not meant to be taken seriously. This movie would be boring if we spent more time with the humans versus the gargoyles and the demons. But they make some weird choices here with such a timeless character that ultimately don't work for me. The action sequences aren't bad. Bill Nighy is, as always, really fun to watch. Aaron Eckhart does everything he can to bring this character to life. But this movie just demonstrates why some horror action movies are just a difficult thing to pull off. If you enjoyed this review, stay connected with our channel by clicking the subscribe button. And we're going to have more movie reviews and horror content coming soon. They end up getting drunk there. They pass out, next morning they wake up and the wife is pregnant. Ta-da, the Antichrist is born 40 weeks later.